So this is just going to be a very quick question, which I think you all might have a relative answer to. Have you been in that situation where you just want to, you know, search on your browser or maybe on that amazing search engine of yours, and you're trying to find a way to explain to someone what a particular 3D object is? Let's say you're trying to search for a box, for example, or maybe you're trying to search for a shoe, and or maybe you're searching for something, and all you're looking for is a 3D model that can just simply get you that uh, result or maybe you're trying to find that 3d model and you know sometimes these things have been limited by either the search engine doesn't even know what you're talking about or maybe there is something like that that exists but you know due to the fact that there is no proper SEO for that particular tool that you're looking for the particular object you're looking for you cannot find it uh, on time on your search engine have you thought about the fact that maybe you want to search and then instead of just simply searching Google for Google itself you're actually searching Google for 3d have you thought about something like that and if you have then you have nothing to worry about because right now i have just been digging about the internet and i have found a solution for you and i came across this very amazing tool which is called Goog 3d and Goog 3d my goodness is a tool which you would really want to use as an artist it is a tool that combines both the google search and sketchfab models together so instead of you wasting or instead of you spending that amount of time trying to you know find something on sketchfab and at the same time trying to find it on google all you need to do now is just go to Goog 3d and then you can find it and so for the first time when i met this tool all i could say is oh my god does this even exist how is it possible that someone has created this the guy that made this my goodness i wonder what he was thinking at the point but then we need to look at the positive side because this is definitely going to help you as an artist <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. In today's video, we will be looking at something that I have no words for. It is uh, very creative. It is something that some dude somewhere, only God knows what he was thinking about before he came up with something like this. This is an update to Google. It is more like a back end or front end. I don't know how you're going to call it, but it is something that has to do with you being able to go over to your web browser and, you know, search Google, get the Google results you want, and at the same time, get 3D results. This is crazy. I have no idea how he came up with something like this, but for whatever reason, this is amazing. It is something that we all should appreciate and, you know, encourage. So if you uh, don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about a tool called Goog 3D and this is an experiment where some dude's name that is called uh, Salvain Zama, it's going to be on the screen guys, I don't want to murder this guy's name, it's going to be on the screen. He went over and created something that mashes up your Google searches with 3D models from Sketchfab. So once you go over to Goog 3D, you can simply search for anything whatsoever and you would be able to find the 3D object that matches the results. Is it perfect? Most of the times, but it is not complete because this is still an experiment. So he is doing this particular experiment where he's, you know, getting models or it's crawling around the web trying to get uh, things that are stored in Sketchfab that matches the search. So here we are in gook3d.com and if you decide to search for something like man, okay, for example, and it searches the part where you normally see your Wikipedia stuff, then you there you are going to see uh, stuff from Sketchfab. So basically where you normally see your Wikipedia stuff, you can see the stuff from Sketchfab. And uh, the crazy thing about this one is once you come and press the play button, it loads the Sketchfab file directly inside your Google search session and you can expand it. You can rotate around it. It will update by itself. You can share with someone. You don't have to go to Sketchfab to find models anymore. Okay. And you can just simply come through and type something else. So let's uh, try hamburger, for example. Okay, so if you type something like hamburger, I don't know why I'm uh, thinking of something like that right now, but when you go ahead and try something like hamburger, it is going to get you hamburger search results, okay? So it's going to get you hamburger search results. And what you're looking for, if you cannot find it here, you can always go over to this session that is uh, called 3D. And once you come through, you will be able to find 
tons and tons oh my god tons and tons of sketchfab results that are like this if you still cannot find what you're looking for here you can click on the view more on sketchfab and boom it takes you over to sketchfab and there you can find anything you are looking for and the cool thing with this is you can you know preview it look at it the way you want if it's something you want to you know contact the artist for you can contact the artist for it if it's something you want to give as reference you want to use as reference you want to download you can start the download directly here you don't need to go to sketchfab you actually don't need an account you don't need to know what sketchfab is you don't even need to know if that particular model you're looking for exists in the internet all you need to do is just google it check the 3d section and you would be able to find them here and if you cannot find them good luck with that but basically 95 percent of the things that i've searched for today i have been able to find similar clothes or maybe related results to it it is fun to play with i must say but it is not always correct because most of the times it doesn't really predict it it is uh, it gives you results fairly random and you can also see that around here it mixes and matches up certain things like you can see nutritional values okay one thing that this particular experiment reminds me about is the old safari browser where you get to see all of these things here I don't know I think it's something that he would definitely work on and if for some reason you want to know how to play with this tool or you want to experiment with something like this he has uh, a github where you can go through find this stuff for yourself and you know download it experiment with it and use it and other things you can find that this dude has been working on is a mix match of uh, wikipedia and sketchfab models i have no idea why he's so tied up to this thing because uh i think for some reason he has a very key interest in sketchfab although i later found out that he is an angel investor in sketchfab other things that you may want to know about sketchfab as a portfolio service is that sketchfab itself is free for you to get into so if you're an artist and you're looking for where you can post your 3d model for people to be able to find it you know share some love to you then sketchfab should be the place you should go to if you come through to sketchfab you can log in for free and also upload your models directly there i would really appreciate it if you can take your time out of your day and you know explore this tool see what happens here if it works for you that would be so cool and you know you can share with your friends and you know get the word out and let's give this dude a lot of support so i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section is this a tool that you like is this something that you would want to see it develop over time what do you think about the volupedia and what do you think about the gook 3d this is awesome i don't know about the name but i think in the general view this is something i am so excited about i would like to know what your comments are i would like to know what your reactions are about this in the comment section below and if you like this video simply give it a like and don't forget to share with your friends and if you're new here it will be awesome if you can hit that subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know and until i see you guys next time with a review update tutorial rants news or maybe something like this peace